Hi guys, welcome to the first review of the Thomas & Friends Minis Advent Calendar. Now, I picked this up from Smith's Toy Store here in the UK. It cost me about 25 to 30 pounds. I wanna say it was around the 30 pound mark. And initially, it comes with 24 locos, miniature locos, all actually designed with the Thomas & Friends in mind. And it does come with festive types logos. So for example, if I just turn it around here and bring it closer towards you, as you can see, obviously we've got festive type logos here. Um, so it's gonna be interesting. And don't get me wrong as well, I and it the box actually does double as a play mat, which I actually think is quite cool. I thought for 30 pounds, this was quite a bargain. Um, I don't know a lot of the new locos, I'm not going to lie, I'm quite old school, you know, being there 31 years of age, I only really know the first seven, maybe eight seasons of Thomas, that might be pushing it, with the original cast and roster of locos, but it's going to be interesting, and like I say, I don't know some of the newer engines, so, but I am looking forward to getting this guy, if he is in the box. We've got here Scar Lowy, nice festive one with the polar bears next to him. So I'm looking forward to getting this. Um, and obviously we'll just review them as we go along. So let's just get the unboxing underway. So of course, if we're going to just lift up the sleeve here, then we can see, comes in this really nice festive packaging, Thomas and Friends minis packaging, a nice bow here with all the Christmas decorations. I have no idea what that character is. It's from the new series. I know that much. It's one of the, um, I want to say without offending anyone, one of the woke characters. <laughs> but that's just my opinion on this. But we've got Percy here. Um, yeah, that's quite nice. Uh, another one of the woke characters, as we can see. Snowman. Um, and then, of course, if we open this up, just get a nice shot for you all. There we go, we've got 25 days of Locos to open, so this is going to be fun. And I can see here, straight up in the top corner, we've got number one. So I think we're going to open number one straight away. This is going to be interesting. Oh, and straight away, I don't know if you can see that, straight away we have got not even a Loco. It looks like... Bertie, the bus, and I'm right, it is Bertie, the bus. Well, that's really interesting. The first one that I open, and it's Bertie, the bus. It's quite a nice design, little model, actually. I mean, for a start, I could instantly tell who it was. And the face as well, if I try and get a close up of the face. That's quite a good design little face, isn't it? I have to say. But we'll go for a closer shot and we'll have a review in a couple of seconds. So yeah, being old school myself, I mean, Bertie the Bus, I mean, he's been around in Thomas for as long as I can remember. Of course, obviously you had Thomas and Bertie have races back in season one. And yeah, uh, it's a nice little model. Um, obviously, you know, it is what it is. I mean, for £30, for 24 Locos, of course, it's not just Locos, clearly. We've got some actual vehicles as well. As well as I can imagine probably Rolling Stock. I can imagine Annie and Clarabelle being included in this somehow as well. Um, I really did not expect Bertie to be the first one <laughs> on the box at all. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's a nice little model. Um, I don't understand, if I'm honest, the need and the necessity for the clips here. Um, so you've got the back there, the peg, and obviously at the front, almost like the buffer sort of style. Um, and I don't know why, I can't actually imagine what he's going to be getting in the calendar that's going to be pulling along. So that's going to be interesting. Um, off the top of my head, the only other ones that I could really see being sort of included are the, it's obviously the Fat Controller's rail car, 
possibly George, um, Trevor, but even then, you, I mean, why would a bus be pulling those characters? That's what we're maybe going to have to look into towards the end of this little mini series. But I really hope you've enjoyed this. Um, it's been day one of the advent calendar. I think it's quite a nice little model overall. Um, it's going to go well in my little collection. Um, I used to have a vast Thomas collection back when I was younger. And of course, when I saw this, I was just like, oh. I don't even like the advent calendar chocolate. So this was too good to pass up. Nice little roller though. There he is. Put him back in the shop for you guys. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this. Like I said, it's only a little mini series. If you have, then consider maybe subscribing going forward so you don't miss any of the next 23 days going forward of unboxing this advent calendar. Consider maybe giving us a like. Comment down below what you think of this Bertie because personally, like I say, I just think he wasn't one I was expecting to be included and I just don't understand, like I say, the potential buffer style gripping at the front and obviously the hook at the back so he can pull stuff along. I don't understand any of that. Um, but yeah, leave a comment down below what you actually think of him and we will see you tomorrow for the next unboxing. See you guys.